welcome back to Cruising as Crew. My name is Lucy and today I'm going to be answering the question, should you apply for cruise ships now? But before we start, please press like and subscribe for more cruise ship content and also if you have any video suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below or you can DM me over on Instagram at Cruising as Crew. But as for now, let's get into the video. I know that there's a lot of you who are like, I need to travel, I need a new job, I need an adventure, I need something to live for. I need something to look forward to, something to excite me, something to light a fire in my soul. But with cruise ships just getting started straight after COVID, is this the right time to start? Obviously there's still so much uncertainty about the cruise ship industry. Like, is this really the right time to uproot everything and get going? Cruise lines already have a lot of pre-employed crew members that they need to get on board a ship before they're going to look at hiring any new people. But nevertheless, there are still new ships that are planned to launch and cruise lines are going to need crew members for those new ships. The thing with cruise ships, it's a really lengthy application process. So you apply, then you have your interview, and that can sometimes happen relatively fast. But the onboarding process is what takes the time because you need to get a seaman's book, a C1D visa, maybe an MCV visa, a police background check, a medical, certain certificates. Maybe you need to do an STCW. Maybe you need to go for training. Like if you work for Steiner, you have to go to the academy. When I started working for Harding as a cosmetician, I had to go on a week's training to be a cosmetician. So. There's a lot of things that you have to do before you can even think about getting on board. And even when you've done all of those things, you've got all your paperwork together, the company needs to find you a space on board because you will replace someone who is finishing their contract. So if someone isn't finishing their contract until two months, that's another two months that you're gonna add to your waiting time. You will not be getting on board straight away. Like if you apply now, you're probably looking at joining a ship in June at the earliest. So don't quit your day job until you have got a flight to the ship. And I say this to like everyone who's applying for cruise ship, even when you've applied for the job, done the interview and you've found out you've got the job, that's like the easy bit over. Now you've got the long wait and all the paperwork you've got to get. So it's really important that you are transparent with your current employer about what's going on so that you can have an easy transition process. Because what you don't wanna do is quit your current job and then be like, oh, so now I've got six months with no money. Great. Just know that you are gonna be waiting a while. One, because it's a lengthy process anyway. Two, cruise lines already have crew that they need to find a ship. Three, because unlike in normal times, cruise lines only have two or three ships in action at the moment and a lot of their ships are parked up somewhere. So there's a lot of ships that don't actually need crew until 2022 because the cruise lines aren't planning on using them until COVID has completely simmered down. So just bear those in mind. Also what I want you to bear in mind, it is very uncertain. When you work on a cruise ship, you could be medically disembarked. Maybe you break your leg. Unfortunate, but it happens. You could get transferred. I was transferred ship, many people have been transferred. You can get sent home because the pandemic breaks out. I am very lucky in that when I come home in between contracts, I'm usually home for about one to two months. So I stay with my parents when I am home. I know a lot of people who want to work on cruise ships, they're like, right, I'm gonna make this my new career. And they move out of their house, they sell their house, or maybe they're renting somewhere and they let that go, get rid of the lease. They put their stuff in storage because they're like, right, for the next five years, I'm gonna work on cruise ships. And I know some people who did do that in 2019 and then 2020 came and we were all sent home because of COVID. And those people who had, you know, sold everything to make their new life on cruise ships were probably wishing that they hadn't. Now I know this sounds like I'm discouraging you from doing it. I just want you to really think of every eventuality. Like, yes, go and work on cruise ships because if COVID has taught us anything, there's nothing like the present. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. If you have a dream, make it happen. And if cruise ships is your dream, apply now. It's gonna take a while to get your job. But I want you to be prepared so that, like we don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know whether there's gonna be another outbreak of COVID, maybe a different strain. 
obviously, hopefully not. Like, we don't know. So I want you to go on a cruise ship expecting the unexpected. You have a plan if you get sent home because of COVID or because of anything. Like, can you stay with your parents? Have you got a friend who you can say, look, if I get sent home or if something happens, can you guarantee that like I can stay in your spare bedroom for two months? Because as I said, you know, a lot of people were not expecting, well, no one was expecting COVID-19, let's be honest. On A lot of crew members were not expecting that. So there was a lot of people in very, very sticky living situations when the cruise lines were like, okay, we're gonna send you home. And they're like, I don't have a home. I sold my home to work on this boat, on this ship, I should say. Yes, everything is uncertain at the moment. That isn't a reason not to apply now, not to go for it, you should. It just means you have to really think about every eventuality. So my final verdict is yes, you can apply for your cruise ship job now, but just don't quit your day job yet because it is gonna be a while until you get on board. But I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give it a like and leave a comment. If you have any video suggestions, questions, you can leave them in the comments down below. DM me over on Instagram at cruisingascrew or go to my website cruisingascrew.com and send me an email. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.